Hey air signs, welcome back to Pure Black Magic. Emphasis on the pure, the black, and the magic. If you're new here, my name is Dee. Thank you guys for taking the time to check out the channel. Hopefully you like the vibe, you like the content, and decide to hit that subscribe button. If you are returning, super, super thank you for all of your continued love and support of the channel, you guys. It is greatly appreciated. This is going to be your weekly update for Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius, okay? So um, from June the 27th through the 3rd or 4th of July, this is the energy update for you. Cross watchers are welcome here as well. All right, so we're going to get started with the Sacred Spirit Oracle deck. Go ahead and like the video for me, guys. Comment, I comment back. Um, subscribe and turn on your notification bells if you have not already. The more you interact with the content on this channel, the more I am likely to pick up on your specific situation, okay? But these are still general readings, so feel free to book a private session with me. All right. Let's see. Let's get two more cards for my air signs. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. All right. Let's get one more. Okay. So let's see what we got going on here. Okay. So it says, first card out, illuminate the shadow. It says, focus on a solution. Okay. Okay. So finding a problem or the root of a problem um, in a situation is going to be significant for you guys this week. Third eye vision. It says to reclaim your mind. Okay. Getting your control back. All right. Um, letting go of some sort of fears, old habits, or any projections that someone has been trying to put onto you. Okay. Um, finding your way. Okay. Is what I'm getting from this. And then we have spirit messages. It says observe limitations. Okay, so observe what or who is holding you back, even if that means it's yourself. Um, definitely put, picking up on some sort of fear or stagnant energy or hesitant energy here. Um, someone's needing to face themselves or look themselves in the mirror um, in order to heal some sort of problem, deeply rooted problem here. Okay, something that you're facing. This is your someone else in your energy. At the bottom of the deck, we have energy signature. It says the past is in the present. Earth signs have this card as well, so you could be dealing with an earth sign. Um, and then I see let your soul shine behind that, okay? Hmm. So something could be coming back around for you guys, um, but I'm feeling like there needs to be boundaries put in place, okay? Um, earth signs also had, what was it? Balance is being restored was their first card out. And your first card out is focus on a solution. So you definitely could be dealing with an earth sign or you could have earth somewhere highly aspected in your chart. Um, but if you are dealing with earth sign, I feel like, I don't know if you were in the wrong or something, but I feel like some sort of way you're working together with an earth energy. Okay, let's see what the tarot cards have to say let me bring this down just a little bit for you guys magician at the bottom of the deck and that is actually um gemini virgo energy so that is air and earth okay so i feel like you're dealing with an earth sign kind of trying to make amends or create something together okay chemistry alchemy is what i'm hearing here what is focus on the solution all right so we got the four wands we got the king of pentacles Focus on the solution could be a relationship because we got this four of wands, okay, or some sort of uh, contract or official agreement connection here um, with a king of pentacles, okay? This is earth energy towards Virgo Capricorn, all right? Exactly what I'm picking up on. What else do we have, Spirit, for focus on the solution? All right, you could be trying to heal something with the earth sign or in regards to your finances. Um, some of you guys like committed to something or like spent too much money on something so now you're trying to figure out how to like dig yourself out of that hole or just replenish your um your bank account your finances but we have the seven of wands and then we have the chariot so you i feel like there's been an issue here and you've been kind of um, shying away from like addressing it or fixing it possibly because you didn't feel confident enough to do so, to approach the situation or this person or to make this sort of move, okay? But with the seven of pentacles at the bottom of the deck, it's like now um, you're wanting to invest, you're wanting to nurture this, okay? Or saving, I'm, I keep getting something about like saving money or you needing to save your money, okay? So I don't know if you're trying to make a big purchase, Um 
this week or somebody's saving up for a car or something you could be having car issues maybe your car broke down or something like that what is reclaim your mind okay so getting back in the right mind state something could have just had you mentally emotionally all over the place um and i feel like you're looking yourself in the mirror like telling yourself to get your shit together this week two of swords it could um involve you having to cut off something or someone yep all right and then the hangman holding back okay eight of swords and then the king of swords all right giving me nine of swords energy you guys have been feeling very worried about something um a little bit of a introverted energy depressed not wanting to be around people um you could have been very um, kind of just like cutting to some people, rude or mean even is what I'm getting here. Um, almost as if like you lost control of yourself the way you think or something like that. But it's, it's clarifying reclaim your mind. So I feel like you're snapping out of it this week or someone is helping you snap out of whatever this is you're struggling with mentally. Three of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. This could be um, in regards to work here okay or working with someone collaborating with someone all right hmm behind that we got the will of fortune and the strength card yeah and then the ace of wands and the hierophant and the healing card uh, um the star card all right ten of wands seven of swords full card i'm kind of hearing don't be a fool okay so the water signs i believe it was the water signs that had that message or the fire signs it was a fire signs that had that message so i don't know if you we're collaborating with a fire sign or you're thinking about it um hmm. but i kind of feel like there needs to be some sort of boundaries put into place so that you won't spiral down this same mistake or mental hole again what is observed limitations for my air signs learning to say no is also what i'm hearing here nine of pentacles okay hmm discipline is what i'm picking up on as well somebody really needs to discipline themselves in regards to their finances how they spend their money what they spend their money on observe limitations for my air sign spirit let's get three cards judgment yep queen of cups and let's get one more card death and ace okay we got a bunch eight of pentacles death and the ace of pentacles so you could be um making up your mind okay or realizing something about a queen a queen of cups a cancer pisces or a scorpio okay or someone um in your love life possibly or someone that's very nurturing could be a mother figure does not have to be um but i feel like you guys eight of pentacles death card ace of pentacles It's like something is ending here um, so it can come back better. Or you're trying to transform something or you're trying to make something out of nothing or you're trying to like multiply something. So I did get that investing energy. You guys could be investing your money into something or just your time and energy into something um, so that it can have like a return. I'm hearing like triple, double times the return. All right, at the bottom of the deck, we got the Four of Pentacles. What's going on? A lot of Earth energy has been showing up in these readings. Um, so a lot of people is focused on their security, their finances, okay? Um, somebody really needs to learn how to say no. And I don't know if this is just to yourself again or to someone else, but this person is trying to hold on to something here. This person is struggling with something, clarifying spirit messages. You could be receiving some sort of um, synchronicities, um, some sort of communication through spirit, through music or something, dreams, epiphanies that you could be having um, that's going to help you out of this situation. That's going to help you dig yourself out of this hole, whatever's going on here. Let's pull some energy cards to see what's going on. We do have cornucopia at the bottom of the deck and I see door to value. So some of you guys just really need like, I don't know if there's like an unexpected expense that's coming up um, or if you've been needing um help financially angel of balance caring connections but i feel like you're gonna figure out a way 
to pay for something or to get past this. I keep hearing dig yourself out of this hole. Okay, what type of energy cards do we have for my air signs? Libra, Gemini, Aquarius for this message for this week spirit. All right. So we got rest and rejuvenate. Let's get two more. What other messages do we have for my air sign spirit? We got the thinking woman. Mm, let's see. And then we got victory. Okay, so I'm also hearing rest your mind. Like rest your mind, calm your mind, relax. Okay, this is the energy that you need to be in. But this is the energy... Um, if you're trying to manifest something, you need to balance out your energy. You need to raise your vibration. Meditation could help, um, but you kind of need to put the intention out there as to what you want to happen and let it go. You're overthinking something here, and this is why it can't grow, why it can't prosper. This is why things aren't changing for you for the better. Um, you're just very concerned about this victory that I feel like is going to come in for you, but you need to relax. You need to tighten, to um, to loosen the rope a little bit. Then we have the fourth chakra, the heart chakra at the bottom of the deck here. It could be that you're just overly thinking about it and really worried about it because you care a lot about the situation or this person. Um, but I do feel like it's going to work out, okay? So I'm going to leave it here. Please give me a thumbs up. If this was your message, leave me a comment below letting me know how. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel, you guys and I will see you next time.